So we're gonna go from this to this using some simple UV tricks that'll just increase your workflow. And if you hate UV unwrapping, mm, this is for you. So you can see here, we've got a very complex material setup. Now there's a video and link in the description on how I created this material. However, if you want to download this whole project file, it's on the Patreons. So let's go ahead and first work on this panel here. Let's come over into shading and let's start off by working out which material is applied to this. Lighter, I'm gonna click select. Oh, there we go. So that's the material that we're after. What I am going to do though is duplicate this material because it's gonna cause problems if we just use the same material. So let's go plus, add in that lighter material and duplicate. And this one will be our text, sorry, decal. Now let's go ahead and quickly create a decal that we can use. Over into a new blend file, let's select our camera, Alt-R, Alt-G to reset the rotation and the location, GZ5. Let's just push it up there. From here, delete the default cube, delete the light. Let's select our camera, come into the camera settings. We're gonna change perspective to orthographic. Numpad zero to go into camera view. Let's now create something. Shift A, mesh, plane. Let's go tab into edit mode, scale that up. Uh, what are we gonna do? I kind of want a zigzag pattern. So let's increase that. I'm gonna press Control R to add in some edge loops. Mouse wheel up, lovely. From here, Control B to do a bevel. Let's go ahead and select all our stripes. Now I am gonna remove the end pieces because they're not the same size. So let's go delete faces. We will grab the top section, G to the X, bottom section, G to the X, something like that. Let's go ahead and create a material. So over into shading, let's go into rendered view, new, shift A, let's go search, add in a noise texture, and we'll plop that one in there. And we're actually gonna bring this down into the emission. Let's come up into render settings. Let's go ahead and add in a color ramp, increase the detail, and let's scale this up to maybe 10. Um, we're gonna move the black to crash, crush the blacks because the blacks we wanna remove. And with the white, we're gonna come all the way down. So there we go, we can kind of see how we're going to remove. Um, we could probably go a little bit more, yeah, like that. With the alpha of the color ramp, we're gonna go into the alpha. From here, let's come down to the bottom and where it says blend mode, we're gonna change that to alpha blend and alpha hashed. If we now come into the render settings, we come into film and we go transparent. You can see now that the background is transparent. So if we do F12 to render, the grays are still there. Because I'm a donkey, I needed to click on the black and let's go into alpha like so. Now when we press F12, we can see how it's almost like the paint has been scratched away. So let's go ahead and save that image. Image, save as. And we'll go into decal lines, save image. Let's jump over into our other blend file. And now coming back, let's go ahead and apply that decal to this panel. I am gonna zoom in and we're gonna kind of separate this material. Let's go Shift A, search and add a principal BSDF. Let's just make sure we select where we're gonna be applying that decal and hit assign. Well, technically it's not gonna work. Let's go Shift A, search and we're gonna go into a mix shader and we'll dump that one in there. And the shader goes into here. From here, we're going to add in an image texture. So let's go ahead and find our decal lines. We'll dump that into the base texture and the alpha goes into the alpha. Now, if we come into rendered view, we can see that it is a bit of a schmozzle and that it's UV wrapped completely differently. So let's go ahead and come over into the object data. We're gonna click on UV maps and I'm going to add in a second UV map. So we've got UV map 001. Let's go ahead and select everything. I'm just gonna go press U, project from view. Let's come over into UV maps and you can see how we've got our texture already there. Now what we're gonna do is select that. I'm gonna scale it up and put it on the panel. If we come up to the top here, we can see that we're working on UV map 001. I think if we click on here, Mm, that's not coming up, that's fine. So let's finish connecting all this up, back into shading, search UV map, and that's gonna go into the, ver uh, the vector for the image texture, 
and we'll select our second UV map. And now you can see that we've now applied that second UV map. Back into the UV editing. Let's just kind of position it nicely. Something like that. Nice. Back into shading, because we can see that it's actually repeating itself. So over here on the image texture of our decal, we can click repeat and change that to clip. Beautiful. Now you kind of can see that the panel is transparent. Not exactly what we want, but we've used the mix shader. So if I grab the alpha and put it into the factor of the mix shader, you can see how we've applied now that decal directly onto our ship. Now let's go ahead and add in another one down here. So let's go ahead and create a decal. What we're gonna to do to make our life a little bit easier is I'm going to delete that decal, shift A. Let's go to text, stand clear, put that in the middle like so. Come over into the text editor. I wanna increase the character spacing. There we go. Do something like that. Let's add our decal material that we just created into the rendered view. How's that looking? Uh, let's go control A, apply the scale. Seems a little bit strawn out. You know what, it actually works with this design. I'm fairly happy with it. So let's go F12, image, save as, decal text, close that. Coming back, let's select our door. First thing we're gonna do is duplicate this material and we'll call this um, a decal. Because if we were to change this main material, it's gonna stuff everything up. So once again, into our material setup, let's press tab into edit mode. We can see that we've got modifiers applied. Let's go back into object mode, select our first modifier, shift A. There we go. Now let's add in our principal shader. Let's add in our mix shader. Mix into the top here, shift A, image. Bam, color goes into the base color. Alpha comes into the alpha. Let's go open and decal text. Shift A, search UV map. Dump that one into there. Do we have only one UV map? We've only got one UV map. Let's go ahead and change that. Click over here into our object data. UV map, second UV map. Dump that one in there. Excellent. So let's press numpad three to go into side view. Now this is gonna be a little bit interesting. If I go U, project from view. Let's come into UV editing, and then we'll just kind of line it up where we want it, which is about here-ish, I'd say. Back into our shading. One thing we've got to do is add in our alpha into there and change, change repeat to clip. Beautiful. Now the problem is that on the other side is still the decal as well. So this is where that secondary UV map comes really handy. Let's go into UV editing once again. I'm going to select everything. I'm just gonna scale it all the way down. I will select these here. U, project from view. And then I'm just gonna scale this up to about there, if you reckon. Can we maximize that space? Looking good. Excellent, and now when we come into shading and we have a look from the inside, we no longer see it. It is only on the outside. Now, if we come over to this side, I think our writing should be backwards. Let's just change our world settings to just a gray, just so we can see. Because I've got the mirror modifier on this door, we can come into here. Let's come over into data mirror U. There we go. And so now we've mirrored our UV texture. We don't need to do it on this one because we can see that the top point is up here and that is exactly the same. It's just more noticeable in words. So now you can go through and add more and more decals to your ship, give it a bit of extra pizzazzle, bit of extra love, hit subscribe if you haven't already, just do it. And download this in the Patreons as mentioned before.